My buddy hunts two dog at once. Can you imagine doing that? Not a chance. <laughs> Not a chance. I think I can speak for all of us when I say that over our many years of hunting, one of our favorite parts of the fall is bird hunting together. The beauty of waterfowl hunting is the group aspect, where camaraderie thrives. As we've grown older, it's become more difficult to align our schedules, so this hunt for the three of us was greatly anticipated. Down here and watch some land. Yeah, there's a semi dog acting on them in time. Yeah, she's a brisk one. Feel it in my loins. Wait, there's a drake to the right. There's a drake there's out in front, too. To the right. Okay, I'll go. I'm gonna shoot left, you shoot right. On three. One, two, three. Nice having those ducks come in like that. Bailey can go get this other clip over here. He hasn't moved at all, so thank you. Get enough. That's why I was making a Shoot him.
guy, when I bought this gun, I shot skeet for like two hours. Couldn't hit a single skeet. Since I've started shooting birds with it, like I shot the first seven birds that I shot at with it, like, couldn't be much better for any gun. Well, it's September 19th, and it's the first bird hunt that the three of us have been together on in a couple of years now. Three, four. Just the three, just of, the us. three just of us. Just the three anyways, of us, anyways. So, yeah, I watched this, been watching this field on my way to work every day for a week. And uh, turns out it's a family member of Dusty owns it, so he sent a text and we got permission. And uh, actually went pretty good. There was more ducks in here than we thought. Got some good shooting of ducks early. And then uh, we had like no wind all morning, which not overly ideal. But uh, birds worked relatively good. I think we finished too short of our limit. And we're hunting alongside a golf course, so probably not a bad thing to be shooting well into the morning. And the third weekend in a row now that I've uh, been on a hunt with the band switched from cameraman duties and first bird I pulled up on <laughs> just the horseshoe bingo I'm not you don't best. want to know where the horseshoe is <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's uh it was good to get back out with the boys and second morning in a row hunting over the dive bombs and like the birds love it eating them up so yeah I think we got a field for tomorrow morning and hopefully get back on some birds and and uh, cap off a good weekend of hunting. It's now 6.41, September 19th. Um, I've been sitting here about 6 o'clock and probably have watched, I would honestly have to say 500 plus Canada's drop in here. They just keep coming in waves after waves after waves. Uh, we got permission on this field. I got it last night. So uh, just finding where the X is, scouting them out. And uh, we're going to be in here tomorrow morning. So. Hopefully there's a few of us right now, as far as I know, it's only Cole and I, so that's a lot of birds for, uh, well, just two guys to go and hunt, so. Probably watch this almost right till dark and uh, grab some supper, grab some sleep, charge some batteries, clean some guns, and uh, get back after it tomorrow morning. This morning we had a pretty good hunt too, so let's see if we can keep this ball rolling. <laughs> Here. 
coming back behind us here. talking to him and there wasn't any confrontation he said good luck so we got in here this morning and it turned out awesome there was a ton of birds they didn't decoy a hundred percent perfect but they were obviously well in range still and we were lucky enough to get a couple of bonus Ross geese and uh, the dogs worked good it was good to get out with a couple friends and all in all it was a good hunt Remington is losing his mind here Sit! What are you doing? Dogs are having fun, we're all having fun, and uh, all in all, it was another great day in the field. What are you guys doing? Okay. Come here. Sit. I'm gonna get take a picture. One picture. 